What's up? It's Exo Dreamcatcher with the legendary Jewel Mix. What's up, guys? What's up, bro? And uh, how was your music come up? Oh, it was cool. I first started um, in a high school band, like, just a punk band. It was really cool. And then after that, when we all separated, we just um, I started doing like some SoundCloud stuff, and then that's how I got here, basically. And how about uh, what's your worst fear of all time? Um, I'm not sure. Probably heights. I don't really like heights. I don't know. I hate heights, man. So are you are you scared of planes then? Yeah, definitely. Especially the turbulence. Oh, it's not the best. But, but, but haven't you had to take planes though? Oh yeah, yeah. I definitely do got to take planes, but you know what I'm saying? Um, it's still pretty scary going on planes. And how'd you come up with your rap name? Um, it's just like, it's my favorite juice. Like when I was a kid, my mom would buy a lot of Humex, so, and it's like really cheap. It's like 36 cents for like a little container. So. How did it come, back, come about with all your tattoos and what are the meaning behind it? So basically I like to stick with a romantic theme just because like I was born on Valentine's Day and it's just like really cool. How about a few random facts about you that no one knows? Um, I didn't finish high school. I mean, a lot of people knew that, though. Um, my favorite color is green. I feel like a lot of people know that. I don't know, dude. Uh, what's something not a lot of people know? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. <laughs> what's your favorite childhood memory and why? Probably just smoking weed with my friends in a skate park. And it's because it was fun. <laughs> and how about the sketchiest thing you ever played and the hardest thing about being a musician? Uh, probably the hardest thing is just like, I don't know, staying positive when I like, you know, don't want to like, um, when I work on a song and it's like, doesn't come out the way I want, so. What's your dream collaboration? Uh, probably The Weeknd, he's a good singer. And who recorded your music and who did the artwork and who did the music videos? I do it all, I do, I direct it, I, I literally do the artwork, like I literally do that, um, make my own music, I do everything, yeah. You did it all? Yeah. Did you go to school for it? Nah, nah, I just, I just literally like skipped school and just did it at home. <laughs> where, where do your ideas come for for the concept like alive in my coffin it's like a train station and then you're in a coffin like where the ideas come so that came from like I had inspiration from the Beetlejuice like model set that he that he did in the music I, I just really wanted to add like some of that so I thought that was lit and then I know that you want to do a collaboration with Billie Eilish but have you ever met her yet yeah I met her in Camp Flagna she's alright she's cool and uh, where you see yourself in the next five years Hopefully still alive, making, doing what I love, you know, making music and stuff. Hey, appreciate it. Exo Dream Catch. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you, bro. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, thank you. Exo Dream Catcher, and we are with... Brandon. Energy Never Dies. Big Daddy L.A. Perp. Chandler OTD. Elijah Henriquez, a.k.a. The Real EJ. My name's Adam. People know me as Little Mozart. Honestly, I, I, it's, this is crazy to me. Like, This is like the first time I do any of this. I'm, I feel like, I don't know, I'm just a regular kid. And I found a passion. That's kind of like editing these images I take pictures of. And it's working out for me. Like, I don't know, dude. It's, it's just crazy. This is all an experience. And my, my childhood, it's just like, I don't know. It's just weird. This is new to me. <laughs> Damn, my, my childhood was pretty rough, but you know, everybody got a story to tell. I started two years ago, I started working with Mark. I only had $70 in my pocket and just like, just a fucking dream, man. When I met Mark or Jumex, whatever you want to call him, uh, first thing he told me is like, once you hold on to your dream and you have that shit right in your hand, run, run with it, don't look back and just keep on going. And I'm always going to remember that shit. Two years later, I have this big ass brand of fucking following. There's always a light at the end of every dark tunnel. No matter how rough your fucking childhood is, you're, you're gonna succeed in the end. Those who struggle will succeed in the end, I Damn, um, my childhood, I just like, I was moving out everywhere. I was in and out of like different apartments and stuff. But like, um, I don't know, I never really had anything growing up. So like, that's why I wanna do music. Cause like, I just wanna be able to have something, you know what I'm saying? And I'm living for my cousin Ryan, RIP. Oh my God, R.I.P. Orion. Um, but yeah, I mean, my life, it was low-key hard, bro, but like like Alfred said, we always got like, we always got a story to tell type shit, so. But, I mean, I'm blessed to fucking do this, bro. Like, last, today was fire, bro. Like, it was a W, bro, so. I mean, just, thank y'all, bro. Uh, my childhood was actually very, like, um, enclosed. I was very on a strict household, so my... My ability to be as social as I am now was very like um, oppressed in my sense, I can say that for sure. Music was always something that brought the light to me and uh, that's kind of where I kind of grew this passion for music. I actually started as a producer. I wasn't really a rapper or anything or a singer, but 
I just figured out that I'm actually pretty decent with that. So, you know, it kind of brought me to the light that I am in right now. And like everyone's been saying, you know, a, a story does have a, a dark tunnel towards the end. But at the end of the day, it's like you can make something good out of it. So definitely my childhood was um, very interesting, very rough. But the way I am now, I appreciate it. I mean, my childhood wasn't the best, but, you know, I'm not going to let that phase me. I never really did. Freshman year, I met Chandler. Or, I mean, we met each other in high school, but freshman year, we started making music. And, like, five years later, here we are. I mean, opening for Jumex, so it's, like, it's pretty cool. To be honest, I don't even know what my worst fear is. I think my worst fear was, like, if I go back to, like, being broke, you know? It's like, when I was a kid, my mom would have to go, like, food drives to get us, like, food every month, you know? Fuck that, you know? I... I'm good where I'm at now. That's, I want to I want to get rich, make money, you know, help my mom and help my dad, you feel me? It's just like the it's it's I don't know if you it's probably not even expecting it, but the fear of the unknown, it's like, you, like it's unexpected. You can't be ready for the unexpected. Only be prepared for it. I mean, I don't know. It's just the fear of the unknown though, not knowing what's going to happen next. But it could be a beautiful thing too, you never know. My biggest fear is probably to be alone. When this whole COVID thing started, I was by myself in my room and like I couldn't meet with anyone, so I just felt so alone. And just the fact that you can't talk to anyone just like fuck, fucks with your brain. So luckily, this shit's over like um, coming to an end, and I'm back with my homeboys and shit. So yeah. <clears throat> Honestly, bro, so my mom in fifth grade moved to like out of state, so like I never got to see her. And that was including my little brothers and my little sister. So basically, my biggest fear is like never being able to live in California with them again. Like the fact that they're gone in like Arizona, I like barely get to see them. That's like my biggest fear. So like that's why this music stuff is so important, bro, because that's all I want to do, bro. I, I, I literally only want to make it and that's it, bro. Like, so that's my biggest fear. Yeah, I would say that's my biggest fear is like everything that I know of, everything I love and feels like all of a sudden just flips on me and becomes something that like I'll hate forever, but for sure, that's what it is. You know, not to sound fucked up, but to be like um, the older generation, like they were broke, you know? I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be broken up as a family and be broke. But when I was little, I always liked making my own films and stuff. Like, I don't know, but I actually have a really good vision with like movie directing and stuff. Like, I've already directed music videos and like stuff like that. But my cousin Justin and I are making a film, so like, damn, that's gonna be hard. But yeah, definitely movie director for sure. In five years, dude, I'm I'm pretty confident in myself with how everything's going. Like everything's making sense. Manifesting is definitely real. I already put things in my head, and like right now I'm doing like a little project, and I don't even have like a big following or anything, and I don't need it because I mean it, I love doing this. It's my passion, and honestly, I feel like it's gonna like take me somewhere because someone's gonna see it, and that's all it takes. One person to see it and change your whole life. Damn, where I see myself in five years, uh, hear me out. Energy Never Dies is going to be the biggest brand there is. Not even a brand, it's going to be a fucking empire. We, we, got, we got a whole label, we shoot videos, we do photography, we do all types of shit. So in five years, we're going to be one of the biggest companies there is. With as far as my music and shit, I, I started this shit seven months ago. I'm already doing thousands of streams, getting big ass features from artists and like my aesthetic wave and shit. So in five years, shit, I don't even know, that shit's going to be scary as fuck. I'll be doing a lot of concerts and shit. I want to be a major um, artist. Like some people will be like, oh, I want to be big and shit. But nah, I just want to stay in the underground. I feel like you can connect with your fans more than when you're like 100, 1 million fucking followers on Instagram. I see myself blowing up in like the next two years. And then after that, um, I'm going to just be chilling with my family in like LA or, <laughs> LA or something. And like fire crib or something. That's where I see myself for real. I don't see myself anywhere lower than that. Like, you really can't though, bro. Like, you actually can't doubt yourself, for real. Definitely my name will be something that you hear around for sure, whether it's I'm rich or I'm famous or I blow up in music, because, I mean, the possibilities are really endless, though, as like where you can go in life, so I'm not really about to like say something that's not gonna happen. I just want to be better than I am right now, for sure, even if that takes five years. Five years, five years I'm gonna be making a lot of money is gonna be coming in, in five years. I'm gonna tell you guys. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you guys that much. Hey, this is the OTD squad, man. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. Oh yeah, the OTD is gonna be big in five years. I'm telling all y'all that. Hey, sir, little Mozart, Chandler, OTD, the real EJ. We out here. You feel me? We're gonna be up for sure. OTD and bro, gang.
XO Dreamcatcher, Habari Entertainment, and where can the people find you at? You can find me on Instagram at the dot sunny, but S X N N Y dot side. You can check me out on my edits there, and then I post my like deep stuff, like because I'm also trying to do poetry and stuff. And you can find it there. Energy never dies, bitch. You can find me at Energy Never Dies Co. You can find me at A L F R X S uh, X D S D, and you can find me as Good Night Playboy G N Playboy with an I. So you can find me as L A Perp with the last two P's, and uh, yeah, E N D forever, bro. Chandler O T D, gang. <laughs> Hey, my ID is underscore the real EJ underscore. It's pretty hard to spell, but I mean, you hear about me in the world. If you guys want to find me, just ask about me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nah. Just ask about me. Hey, we lit, man. Y'all be lit, though. Y'all be stay steady. We out of here. We out of here. Yeah. Bro, we're dipping. Hey, gang. Alive in my coffin